Alex, you're leaving Manchester City. It's, uh, I'm sure, a sad time for you. Um, you've given a lot to Manchester City and you've got a great relationship with the supporters. This must have been a very tough decision for you. Yeah, obviously, um, I was not ready, to be honest, uh, for this day. And especially when I did speech to, to the last, to the team. Uh, it's been it's been an unbelievable time, unbelievable five seasons and unbelievable six years because obviously the first season when I came I went on loan, but still I feel like I was a small part of this amazing club and uh, I'm so grateful to everyone who, who has done a lot of things to me and to my family and uh, yeah it's it's a sad day but. In, in, you know, in this is life, you have to carry on and uh, I wish Manchester City all the best and they know, I already said them, that my phone is open for them 24 hours, so yeah, we, we, we still are friends. You mentioned the, the speech this evening and, and um, you know, you've obviously told your teammates, what, what has the reaction been like and, and how emotional has, has, has this evening been? It was so emotional because I was trying to practice this speech in my room, but uh, and I said to myself, Alex, just hold your tears. That's the main thing, and uh, it's impossible, impossible. When you see all these guys in front of you, you know, with most of them I spent uh, many years, a lot of memories, in the in the good way, in the bad way. We were happy, we were not happy, so there is a lot of a lot of moments was shared with each other and uh, that's life, that's perfect. Then I'm so happy that, uh, that, one, that one day I can say to my grandsons and my granddaughters that I, had, I, was, I was there, I was a small part of this amazing club. You've had so many amazing moments and, and you've achieved so much. What, what's the main thing you will take away from having been a, a Manchester City player over the last few years? There was plenty of them, honestly. I cannot choose one. Honestly, we achieved a lot of titles. Uh, ah, there was plenty. I cannot choose even one. Honestly, there was plenty. I think a lot of the fans feel that your best performance was the last one uh, in the game against Aston Villa, where you came on, you, you changed the course of the game and City went on to, uh, to win the title. That's an incredible final chapter for you, isn't it? That, that you came on and, and, and changed everything and, and City, City won the title in such a dramatic way. Um, I would say the, fir the first name in my mind is Ilkay Gundogan. That, the guy, that, this, that guy has really changed the game, you know. But once again, if I have this opportunity to say a massive thanks to, the, to all fans, to the, all citizens, which was supporting me uh, during all this time and um, you know even especially at the toughest moment in my life when uh, when Russian aggression went to Ukraine and uh, the war started I felt amazing support around myself around my family here in UK uh, and yeah once again massive thanks I can't be great grateful enough for everything what they have done for me you mentioned that support there from the club and, and of course the fans as well. Given the situation in your home country and, and how difficult that was, that, that support must have meant so much to you. That's, that's for sure. Without this support, honestly, I don't know what I should do. Uh, I've never been in this situation and uh, all Ukrainians never been in this situation. And that's the thing, you know, um, I said many times in the past already that in this case, we just need to stick together and uh, we need to win together. It's interesting your City career because of course in, in the summer of 2018 you, you, you probably could have, could have left at that point but you decided to stay and uh, you've really kind of fought to ensure that you've played um, a key role. Does that say something about maybe the Ukrainian spirit or certainly your own personal spirit that you were able to to dig your heels in, stay and become such an important part of, of the last few years and all, all the success that we've had. Yeah, we can speak about a lot of different things, about spirit, about character or whatever, but once again, uh, without 
believing in, my, in, in myself from the coaching staff from Pep Guardiola, it, it, was not it was not possible. So I would like to say massive thanks to Mister and to his uh, fantastic uh, coaching staff for that opportunity that they believed in me and um, for everything what they have done to me. What do you think you'll miss most about playing for Manchester City? I'm going to miss everyone here because um, apart from the players, uh, medical staff or whatever, the guys who is working in the kitchen, uh, or the guys who is look after the grass on the training ground, I'm going to miss them all because uh, they are fantastic people, such a, such a kind person, uh, every one of them. And finally, do you have uh, a message for the Manchester City fans because they've really kind of supported you during your time there, haven't they? Yeah, I would like to say massive thanks for the support which I received during all these years. Um, you, you are fantastic, you are unbelievable and you deserve the best. So I wish you all the best and uh, just keep supporting your, your club like you're doing and everything will be good. I love you so much. Well, Alex, I think I can say on behalf of all City fans, thank you very much for your service and we really do wish you all the very best with the rest of your career. Thank you very much. Thank you.